वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू परफॉर्म टी पी एच ए टेस्ट बाई टू मैथड्स क्वालिटेटिव मैथड एंड सेमी क्वान्टिटेटिव मैथड दिस इज पिन रिएक्ट किट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू परफॉर्म टी पी एच ए बाई यूजिंग दिस किट एंड दिस किट इज स्टोर्ड एट टू टू एट डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड दिस प्लेट वी नीड टू परफॉर्म द टेस्ट टी पी एच ए टेस्ट इज परफॉर्म इन दिस प्लेट with this kit what will come kit literature will come that is important to study first before the start of test after that there are two h uh, dilution reagents and this is tpha dilution reagent orange color almost all kits of either they are from any country uh, company they have same method and same type of reagent this is uh, the test cell reagent containing red cells and this is control cell reagent that also containing red cell but the result if uh, what how we will differentiate that i will show you later and then the negative control and positive control if you are going to open your kit first time first must have check uh, that test with the control if control result is okay it means that reagents are okay to use and whenever you are performing the test must run the control if you are not using daily basis then it's better to run control in your each batch time so first we have to prepare the sample for tpha test for this we will use 1 is to 20 dilution we need to perform the test so first we will prepare the sample so for to 1 is to 20 dilution what i will take first i will take 200 microliter and uh, this dilution reagent before performing the test you have to bring the kit at room temperature so this is the tpha tray in that we will perform that i already i show you the new tray but this is the used tray so first we will see so 200 microliter we will take carefully take there should be no bubble in your uh, reagent now i will discard 10 microliter from this reagent then remaining reagent will be 190 microliter because for 1 is to 20 dilution i will take 190 microliter and dilution reagent and 10 microliter we will take patient sample so dilution will be 1 is to 20 you can increase also this dilution by making 380 microliter dilution and 20 my, sorry 380 microliter reagent and 20 microliter sample but it's better to take 190 microliter dilution reagent and 10 microliter sample for this test we need patient serum now 10 microliter we will take the serum and we will mix when we will mix the reagent we will see the uh, sorry when we will mix the sample in the reagent uh, you will observe there will be a little color change that means sample is mixed properly before it will be orange but now maybe because of camera it is not clear but it will become little pinkish orange color now we will start the test first we will take 25 microliter control and sample and 75 microliter we will take test cells and control cells when you will open the kit you will see all cells of test cell and control cell reagent will be on the bottom so you have to mix properly first the test cell reagent and control cell reagent when that reagent is ready to use properly mix that time only we can perform the test now we need two pipettes one we need, we will set at 75 microliter and one pipette we will set at 25 microliter and we need yellow tips to perform the this test so now we will set at 25 microliter see now 25 microliter because we need 25 microliter we need negative and positive control and 75 microliter we need uh, test cells and uh, reagent cells so in first well i will add negative control then positive control and then two wells we will make for patient sample 
and because in this two well one well we will add test cells and one well only we will add control cells basically test cell reagent is used for this uh, all test control cells why we will use control cells if come positive it means uh, patient have non treponemal antibodies so for that confirmation we are using control cell reagent but for uh, sample for controls uh, and for dilution we will use only test cell reagent so now first i take negative control and now i will take positive control 25 microliter and i will put in second well and after that discard the tip now in the second well now again just little mix the sample and then we will take 25 microliter 25 microliter in each well third and fourth well this is the third well actually this patient have rpr also it came positive as you can see the 525 uh, sorry 12503 rpr also positive so we will see the tph result how it will be same time we will prepare the dilution because as we know that this patient have rpr positive also so we will see the dilution and you can learn dilution method also for dilution method in the second row i will add 25 microliter dilution reagent in each well first this full row we will add in each well 25 microliter now you can see first row is with control and patient sample and third uh, that second row is only with dilution reagent 25 microliter after adding 25 microliter in each well now we will take the patient sample same 25 microliter and then we will put in first well and we will mix it well after that we will take 25 microliter from the same well and then we will move to the second well and we will repeat the same procedure we will mix it well and then into the third well fourth well fifth well and then we will take from last well 25 microliter and that we will discard so do proper mixing in each well and then take 25 microliter and then move to the second well if you have more samples then must do labeling also so that you can know that which row is for which patient here only one sample that's why i not labeled now you see from last well 25 microliter i took and discard now first now we need 75 microliter pipette and we will take the new tip and first we will add test cells you see and first we will confirm the reagent is mixed there is no red cell in the bottom after that we will take 75 microliter and we will add in the negative control positive control and patient first wells because patient two samples we to we put in two wells so in first one well only we will add test cell and other well we will keep for control cell and in the dilution row also we will add 75 microliter test cell reagent 
when you will dispense just carefully keep the tip of the pipette on the above of the well and carefully see that tip should not touch the sample if you see that it touch the sample then quickly discard the tip and take new tip now you see only three wells i keep test cell and fourth well i keep for uh, control cell now in second row again we will add test cell 75 microliter in each well The tip of the pipe, uh, pipette I keep on just above the well. Maybe by camera it feel that it is deep, but it's not deep. So now you see in all wells except one well I add 75 microliter test cell. Now in fourth well only the for patient sample I will add control cells. Just as I told before that control cell reagent we will use to confirm any non-treponemal antibodies. Now 75 microliter control cell we will add in fourth well. Now we will cover the tray and carefully we will keep on the mixing rotor uh, for 100 rpm and just for 2 to 3 minutes. For 2 to 3 minutes we will keep on the rotor for 100 rpm and after mixing properly then we will keep the tray on the balanced surface uh, and uh, under the dark area without uh, means light area now i will take carefully now you see the reagent is mixed properly with the sample so now i will keep on uh, the balanced area where there will be no vibration or there will be no movement so just i will keep in the under cupboard that i found the best place so according to your lab you can keep where you want but it should be dark area so 45 minutes we will keep and after 45 minutes we will check the result now 45 minutes completed and we will see the result after 45 minutes you see first well was negative control and it came clearly negative second well was positive control and it came good positive and third well is positive control uh, sorry patient sample that also came positive and control cell negative it means tpha is positive how we will see negative negative means clear dot one dot will come and the, if there is no dot and there is a like you can see the subtract and bottom is not clear it turbidity is there it means that uh, is positive so in dilution you see first well is first well is positive because there is no clear button so that is 1 is to 80 dilution next one is 1 is to 160 dilution that also it's positive third one is 1 is to 320 dilution that also positive because button is still not clear and fourth one is negative so how we will report after that you can see the dot clear dot so how we will report this test we will report tpha positive and dilution in di and we will write in bracket 1 is to 320 dilution so like that we will read our tpha result and like that we will perform the dilution method i hope that uh, you understand that how to perform tpha test and how to perform dilution method also uh, almost all kids either it is atlas or spin react they have same reagents and same method same dilution method so like that we will perform the tpha test in the laboratory if you have any confusion related to result reading or any dilution method or anything you can write in comment box thank you so much